fix has been literally a dream gun of mine for far too long. Why? Because everything aesthetic about it speaks to my soul. And I have finally gotten one, so I'm going to make a video on it. And that's how it's gonna be. Because this is my channel, and you can't tell me how to live my life. Sorry for being so aggressive. I came out really strong. Let's get into the fix video. Uh, no joke, I have wanted a Q-Fix for so long. All right, Spirit of System Spud Pouch, one of my favorite pouches, but Spud Pouch, Q-Fix combo, unfortunately not the move. Uh, there's too many bells and whistles. The first sponsor of this channel is Optics Planet. Optics Planet is offering you a 7% discount with the coupon code MICA7, counteracting that 7% inflation that the government is lying to us about. The second sponsor of this channel is Shooting Surplus. Shooting Surplus actually um, is probably where you would get a Q-Fix. Uh, so if your fancy is tickled or your something else, then go to Shooting Surplus and use use, uh, use the coupon code MICA7 as well. Third sponsor of this channel, Americana Pipe Dream. Go get yourself some Millsurp. Some of my favorite people, they actually are my favorite people. I love them, they love you. Uh, we love each other, we have a love triangle. Coupon code BUSSY, okay? It used to be bussin', but too many people weren't putting the N on, so now it's just bussy. And who really uh, shines in these kind of videos, especially these expensive 6.5 rounds, is Last Shot. They offer the coupon code Plug. Plug. for uh, free shipping over 250 and they don't charge tax, which boy, it really adds up. So yeah, no shipping, no tax. So we have Paul. Paul pays performance. If you want training, you get training with Paul. You could. You're gonna, we're gonna group this, okay? You're gonna group it, then I'll group it, and you'll probably smash me in pieces, but oh, no. we're all human, okay? We gotta be baby steps. What was that movie? What about Bob? What are we using today? Uh, 140 green Hornady ELD M, ELD match, so extreme long distance match. Is that good stuff? So I've had really good luck with it in my 6.5s, and most guys that are shooting box ammo really like this, um, and I, I wouldn't say it's the, I don't want to speak out of turn and say it's the gold standard, but for me, it's the gold standard for my 6.5s. Okay. Scott is going to be spotting because his name is only one letter off of spot. Did you ever think about that? That's why my parents named me that. Onward research, recce rig, shameless plug. All right, I'm taking top bullseye. Paul just finished his first five round group. Uh, this is your first time ever with experience on a Q rifle, correct? Yeah, I really never shot one before. Um, um, are you feel confident? Yeah, yeah. Well, then let's go check it out. Compared to like a custom gun, it's got a really, it's got a pretty custom feel to it. The bolt lift is a little heavy, but that makes sense. Wow. Yo, these four are just yeah. cash, dude. What, what, what would we say that is like? Uh, so, I mean, generally, since each one of these squares is, is one inch. This always makes me so sad because realistically, that is like a half MOA group. Not yeah. even. That is like, that's like a, that's like a that's, half MOA group. That's tight. That's a good group. That's tight. With a one flyer, I mean, you could, um, you could say, most guys are going to say, hey, five rounds is good, but most, most shooters are looking for that kind of data are going to go 10, 15, 20 round groupings with their bolt guns to get more of a consistent idea of how the gun's shooting. Right. But something like that happening, I mean, if we were to group it again, um, uh, I felt really confident in each shot, so. Well, then there's only one thing to do. You're gonna have to shoot it. Yeah, we're gonna let's, do it again. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm so happy that it did good because I love the fix so much from an aesthetic standpoint. Now that I know it's like pretty accurate, probably more accurate than me, I'm pretty stoked. So I'm gonna try and group it. All right, now let's see if I can do it. I know the gun can, but uh, I'm just gonna embarrass myself in front of everybody. Top target. Oh, I, I pulled the fuck out of that. I feel, feel pretty good, but I know it feels so bad to be on, feel like you're on a roll and then just, you know, you flubbed that one. <laughs> so I didn't do very good. I don't know. That's pretty good to me. Are you kidding me? What? It could be worse. Wait, why is there six? You had a flyer, so we made up for it. Yeah, you, you, uh, you, uh, you called the flyer, so we had you send another one. I'm not, I'm not like upset, but 
This is why I had you group it, because I wouldn't have done it justice. <laughs> right, listen, man, here's the thing. The average person behind this gun, most of your most of your higher level bolt guns are gonna outshoot the shooter. Yeah. But like as far as that goes, it's your first grouping with it. Right. Like, literally, you said you had 100 rounds through it. This is your first time grouping it. So, like, that can always improve. That's why we shoot. I could see why bolt gun, like, and precision shooters get addicted because now I have this, like, adrenaline flow of, like, nah, dude, I could totally yeah, shoot Yeah, I got to do better. I can do better. Like, yep. I know I could do better than that, but, like, sub MWA groups. So, I'm actually kind of bummed out with myself, but. Oh, well. <sighs> why don't we have you shoot it again? All right. As I totally know why Paul did better, it was because I was wearing a rig and he wasn't. Right, Paul? <laughs> uh, right. You want the bag like this, hand in that valley, and as you squeeze, that gun comes up. As you let go, gun Makes comes those down. tiny, tiny little adjustments. So when you push into it with your shoulder, if I want the gun to come up, or if I want the reticle to go down, squeeze, you see how it rises Yeah, it like rises that? up that stock. Everything's nice and stable. If I need to get the reticle to come up, I let it loose, and it comes up. Once I'm on target, keep that tension a lot of people when they break the trigger everything goes loose make sure to keep that tension all the way through your trigger break and that'll give you a nice solid shot let's do it well i can say <laughs> i definitely didn't have to like readjust my bag after every shot with the that squeeze technique I don't know, I I still felt my reticle going like this. This was good, but it just kind of jittered left and right. But so what I'd say in that case is the bipod and, and the bag, everything not set up for you. So what I'd say is anytime I see a shooter's elbows like this, I always worry about stability. So when you see me get behind it, my, my body's flat uh, as it can I, be. I felt like maybe I needed to lower this bipod, but. Okay. Yeah. So you're looking at about two right there, a little under two, down to one with just a few tips and a little more experience on the gun. Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> no, I did. I did like that bag. I felt like I had way more control over that. Like, just just minor squeezing would just, yeah. I like it. So, I I, I almost wanted to shout that I pulled another one, but I didn't want to just keep sounding like a whiny baby. No. I mean, I mean <laughs> listen, man, if you were to, any anyone seeing this, if they take into account, like, first, not a bulk unprofessional kind of guy, like just an enthusiast, sh enthusiastic shooter, getting a new gun that he always wanted, getting behind it, not being disappointed by the accuracy, but then the improvement from here to here. Come on, man, yeah. I love it. That means you can only do better. That's what that's what that means to me. Because I'm gonna be shooting this thing there, so much, yeah. dude. Yeah, it'd be a good time. <clears throat> so, like this one, your spread is left, right, and up, down. This one, your deviation is exclusively. All right, we were done filming, but Scott wanted to crack at it, so we're on the iPhone. Good job, Scott. Nice. That's not a three-round group. That is actually a five-round group. One, two, three, four, five. Nice, Mike. I think uh, part of the reason why I like the fix so much is because it kind of looks like an AS valve, like almost, almost a little bit. Uh, this is actually my first bolt gun that I've ever owned. You know, everything I've kind of done to this gun, we'll kind of go over it. And then we also have Paul. Paul, what the, what are you doing? What? What are you doing in your car? Hey. Now I like to hang out with people a little bit smarter than myself. So that way I don't sound dumb. Paul is f a phenomenal shooter. Like this dude just like showed me how to set this scope and everything up. And then all of a sudden he's like, all right, 372 yards, like a really weird specific number. He's like, okay, just dial it up to two mils. And then I, I made a first round 372 yard impact with it. So we have Paul here to bring some, some knowledge transfer to you guys because I'm incapable of that. Now, one of the burning questions I had was, how accurate is this rifle? I love it. I love the aesthetics. It's it's not a normal action. It's not an action like your 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 typical bolt guns. You know what I mean? This is its own almost AR patterned action. You have AR safeties, kind of AR mags. Like how many bolt guns just have a one piece receiver 
like many that I've seen. Yeah. So anyway, it's a super interesting rifle, and whether you find it interesting or not, I do. Sorry, I'm coming out aggressive again. Like I, I gotta calm down. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys some info on my particular Q fix. You can't argue that the Q fix is an aesthetic gun. Clear ammo here, the grays, all this kind of stuff. So I kind of went a little autism on it. And I uh, reached out to Big Tech's Ordnance. I have to thank them because this is a limited edition clear anno mount just to match the clear anno bolts in the back. And they did hook me up with that. So thank you, Big Tech's. This is the Element Theos. My boy Kevin over there gave me this thing, hooked it up. Awesome scope. Uh, why did I put this specific scope on there? Because it's gray. I, 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 if you can't see that I just went for aesthetics on this, then, then yeah, I mean, I, I really kind of just went for aesthetics on this thing. Um, so gray scope, clear anno, clear anno. We kind of have like, it's like 50 shades of gray. Have you seen it? You're not missing out on much. Why did you watch it, Dan? What uh, were you doing watching 50 shades of gray, Dan? Uh, sorry, man. It's just, it's actually my favorite. <laughs> Down at, at the front here, we have the Liberty Precision Anthem S. This is probably my favorite suppressor that I have out of the repertoire. I use it on my 300 Black. I use it on some of my ARs. I use it now on the 6.5, and I can shoot this thing pretty comfortably with no ear protection, although I do not recommend it. This is Paul's bipod, uh, and to be honest with you, Paul, you're kind of throwing, you're kind of killing my vibe with the green. Sorry about the green, it sucks. I guess there's just some, some closing thoughts to talk about what I like, what I didn't like, because there are some things that I didn't like, but uh, overall, I think I'm extremely satisfied with my Q. Uh, I'd say my biggest thing, and this is a weird one, I'm probably dumb for even bringing it up, but uh, this trigger guard kind of goes really low, and so I feel like it it hits my my knuckle right away, uh, but you could use it with gloves because it's a, gi a giant trigger guard. I don't know. So one thing is I definitely uh, got this out of the box and just started shooting it. I didn't oil it at all, and the bolt was a little hard to work. Once we got a little bit of oil in there, it was cash money, good to go, nice and smooth. Apparently you can swap these barrels very easily. Uh, I don't really know how to do it, but I'm guessing it has something to do with this screw. Paul, do you know how to swap barrels on these? Uh, no, I don't. I don't, I don't know. Read a manual. <clears throat> I don't know how to do it. Honestly, I just wanted to shoot it. Uh, and, uh, but it is there. The option is there to swap barrels very easily. Sure, on how to do it, but I know it has the feature. Um, overall, Maybe I wish I had the M-Lock version just so it was easier to mount like all my bipods. Every single bipod I have is an M-Lock bipod. This is called Q-Cert, uh, but luckily it did come with the M-Lock section. And if you haven't had the chance to handle a Q-Gun, it will surprise you. You will dang near grab this and throw it to the roof because of how light it is. It is absurdly, absurdly light. Um, my dad has a Bergara. B14 and uh, <laughs> with his Vortex on there, that thing is like eight times heavier than the Q-Fix. So that's kind of why I wanted it. This will probably end up being my hunting rifle. I think this is gonna be my first season that I'm actually gonna go out and hunt ever since the traumatic experience I had when I was a kid. I walked up to the elk and it was like breathing on the ground. And I had to like put it out of its misery and I was crying and... Come back in, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> in closing, final shout out. Thank you, Q, for sending me a rifle. Mega based. Uh, I, I love it. I love the performance. I love the looks. It is one of the dream guns that I had. I now have it. I have it set up exactly how I want it. Thank you to uh, Element for the Theos. This was an incredible piece of glass. And Big Tex for the Badger Mount. So, and obviously Liberty Precision for the can. Highly recommend checking out Liberty Precision. No joke. Some of my favorite cans. Uh, I think they're a very small company. Criminally underrated cans, though. That's 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 all I'll say. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned some things. I definitely did. Stay tuned for the next one.